What do you think about this live wallpaper? Or how about a few slinkies jumping on your lock screen and the home screen? Or maybe something like this? Or a parallax wallpaper that moves as you move your phone? I mean, this app has one of the highest quality live wallpapers that you can set on your phone. I mean, just look at that visual and how crisp that quality is. The app is called Ornamental Live Wallpapers and it has this excellent growing collection of motion-based wallpapers. Very diverse and it has something for everyone. And then if you go into categories, you'll be able to see all these wallpapers better organized. There are also some static wallpapers which are also excellent and you can explore and apply if you like. But I really have to say, you'll be amazed at the quality of live motion animated wallpapers you see in here. But unfortunately, the app is not free. However, I do have 50 promo codes to give away to you guys. And all you've got to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and DM me there asking me for promo codes to ornamental live wallpapers. Now imagine that you're watching Instagram Reels while doing something and the reel shifts to the next one all by itself as if you scrolled. You see this red line that's running down? Yeah, this is basically a timer. And once it ends, the content scrolls by itself, just like that. So basically within the app, you click on that timer icon and then tap on the plus minus icon. And now you can set the duration you want. It could be 20 seconds or 15 seconds or much more than 20 seconds too. And then once you've set it, just hit play and that's it. And this works on many other apps, including YouTube Shorts, as you can see here. So this is the app that you're going to need for this and once you download it, just turn it on and you can choose the apps for which you want the scroll settings to show up. So I've clearly done it for Instagram and if you go all the way down, it's also enabled for YouTube. But honestly, you can set it up for any app. For example, in my case, I read articles on Chrome. So on Chrome, I can just set up an auto scroll speed and the article scrolls by itself as I read along. You know, a lot of times you don't want your phone's screen to lock itself when you're downloading something or when you're uploading heavy files that can take up to a few minutes. You just have that fear that it may cancel. And sure, you could keep touching your screen or you could go into your display settings, go to screen timeout and increase it all the way to 10 minutes. That's one way to go about it. What I do is I just go here and click on caffeine. And now my screen won't turn off unless I toggle caffeine back to off or unless I lock my screen. The app is undoubtedly called Caffeine and here you can set the time for which your screen should remain on for every time you hit the caffeine toggle. And I also suggest that you turn on this setting so you know your phone is not indefinitely turned on and also excluded from recent apps. And guys, before we move on, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor. So you know, as a creator, I shoot a lot of videos and I very easily run out of space on my phone and on my computer. But now I use this all-in-one video toolbox that helps me compress these files, saving space without compromising on quality. So UniConverter can take any number of video files and quickly convert them to any of these thousand plus supported video formats altogether. You could also compress your video files to any desired size, quality and format. So, you know, you have full control over the compression. You could also use it to record your screen along with your voice and even your webcam. So it's great for making tutorials or gaming walkthroughs. And you get access to a lot of useful AI tools that are critical for content creation these days. Now, obviously, some features are going to be free while some will come at a cost. But try it out for yourself, explore and see if it helps your video workflow. All links will be in the description. And now let's move on to the next app. This app is going to take your texting game to a meme level. Just enter the text that you want to send and the app will throw out memes with that text in it. Now, if you don't want some random meme, you could first look up for a meme and then enter a text to customize it. Now, once your meme is ready, you can select the app that you'd like to send this meme on. Now, there are some memes with double texts that you can customize by simply typing the texts on two different lines. And you know, there are many categories here to get you started if you're looking to just have a bit of fun. Next, don't you think it's easier to open another app while you are in an app already with something that you can easily access from the side? Just look at how simple this is. And in addition to accessing important apps, you can also access frequently contacted people as well as some of the most used functions like media volume, screen orientation, accessing the notification tray, media controls and your phone's settings. 
So the app is called Edge Card Launcher and it lets you pick and choose apps that you'd like to access and contacts that you'd want to frequently get in touch with. And there are many customization options in terms of where you want the edge card triggered to be, but I'll leave you to it. All right, and that's pretty much it, guys. Those were the apps for the month of January 2023. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon, and mark all. Really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one.